hello friends welcome back to our channel yes teacher and in today's video guys um, we will see how we can fix this error you can see on the screen so it says http error 500.19 internal server error so basically you can get this error while you are working with asp.net core applications and you are trying to publish those on ias so at that time you can get this error so here i have this asp.net core application and when i'm trying to browse that application I am getting this error so guys for solving this error first of all you have to know which uh, asp.net core version you are using okay so uh, if you know which version you are using then it's good and if you don't know then what you have to do is you have to browse the uh, files so we will explore the folder and so first we are just trying to check which asp.net core version we have so if you are able to run your project in the visual studio then you can check there and if that's not possible then you can go and find this dot deps dot json file and you can open that with notepad and there you will see the version which it is using so it is using dot net core 3.1 and to be more specific you can go down and here you might see um, which version it is using so it is using 3.1.25 okay so now we know the version so now we have to go and so i will show the complete step so you have to search download.net core 3.1 one time and you will see this first microsoft link you have to go on that and here you will search the version which is mentioned in the json file so this was the version and here on the right side you see runtime dot net desktop runtime and this one okay so basically guys uh, we require the hosting bundle so we will download this hosting bundle file here so you have to click on that and it will start the downloading the file so i have already downloaded that file so i will just uh, pause this file for now and then guys what you have to download is you have to go back and you can also download the dot net runtime and then the 64 bit version here okay so you can download both these files and after downloading you have to install the file now here you notice i have downloaded the version 3.1.27 so basically guys more important thing is that you match the version this version with your project okay so basically 3.1 is main part and then you can even install the 3.1.31 that will also work or 27 that will work too so because the version in the file was 25 so any version above that will work uh, as long as it is 3.1 version okay so uh, i just downloaded the 3.1.27 so you can download accordingly so now you can click on installing this and it will ask for permission and then it will start downloading the file so guys if the solution works for you then don't forget to subscribe the channel after the video so we will see if i am installing this works there or not so we will see that so it can take some seconds for installation okay so guys now that is installed so now first we will try to run this now uh, so we will just restart the application and we can click on browse so you can see guys there is no issue this time earlier we were getting this error so that means the error has got resolved and in case you start getting the error 50.32 then what you can do is you have to go to the application pool 
and then you have to check the application pool and right click on that and advanced settings and you have to make sure that you have enabled this 32 bit application uh, option to true and click ok so that will resolve your 520.32 error also so guys this was the solution and let me know the feedback if this worked for you or not and thank you guys